to marcusg.tv. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business. Uh, for a lot of my business tips, go to, for all my business tips, go to 50mistakes.com, 50mistakes.com. Uh, it's tailored to restaurants, but really any business can benefit from the things that are going on over there. Uh, I'm super passionate about sharing my knowledge, uh, my, my 15 years in business here at my restaurant, 14 years, plus all my other business experience. Just love sharing what I've done um, here's an article from entrepreneur.com. Does your small business really need a marketing plan? I don't even need to read this article to convey how I feel on this. Um, but you know what? You've got to, a lot of, a lot of businesses don't think that, well, I can't afford traditional advertising and I'm not, you know, I, I just, I'm, I, I would never advertise on the radio or the TV or the print ad or the, the phone book is dead, right? Here's the one thing that I want to make a point here. Traditional, the traditional ad market is totally dead. TV, <laughs> who watches TV anymore? Who really watches TV anymore based upon a program coming on? Everybody TiVo's everything. Everything's pre-recorded besides sport events, besides sporting events that are there and live and happening right there. No, nobody really sits down anymore to say, oh, it's six o'clock, let's go watch this show. No, it's tivo and you watch it later. And going flipping through magazines, people don't flip through magazines anymore. Newspapers, I gotta tell you, in my restaurant when we opened 14 years ago, people used to ask all the time, hey, do you have a newspaper I can read? Because they would sit there, right, waiting for their dinner, or after dinner, just lounging out, waiting for somebody else. Hey, do you have a newspaper I can read? Or, or uh, you know, people would ask for phone books. I gotta tell you, it's been seven, eight years since somebody's asked me if they could read a newspaper. And we have all these beautiful stacks of these local magazines, local farms, all these beautiful, well-done things that just sit there and sit there and sit there. So if you're a small business and you're thinking, well, I can't afford a $500 ad in this, in this magazine or a $120 ad in this local newspaper, you're right. You can't because nobody's looking at this stuff. Nobody's there watching it anymore. This is how you advertise people. Your phone, that's how it's done. This is the new TV. This is the new phone book. This is the new magazine. It's all done right here. So don't think that you gotta, you have to have this massive budget to go out and advertise. You post a video on here that you made with this phone that you made yourself, a 10, 15 second video, you put on Facebook, you put it on Twitter, you put something on Instagram, and that's how it's done. That's how you market, that's how you advertise. You go on Yelp and you keep your Yelp page current. You go on the TripAdvisor, you keep your TripAdvisor page current, you add new photos, you, you show people what's going on. That's how you advertise nowadays. So when I hear people saying, oh, I don't need to advertise my business and this and that, that's nonsense. A lot of chefs are like that. A lot of chefs are really stubborn. I've met chefs over the years. Oh, I don't need to advertise. My food is good, people come here for my food. You know what? Somebody's looking at you online, you idiot. Somebody is there looking at your reputation. They're looking at what people are saying about you on Facebook. They're finding you somewhere and they're looking and you're not there engaging with those people, posting things, keeping them updated and keeping them current. Major, major mistake. So yes, advertising is super important, but you got to throw out that whole past print ad, radio ad. I mean, the radio, yeah, I guess people still listen to the radio. I know I don't really listen to the radio. I'm an, I, I listen to, to books or I listen to what I want to listen to. I listen to music, what I want to listen to. Of course, Pandora, if you don't pay the, the full price, you are going to get ads in there. And if you are a business owner, if you are a small business owner, some of the most effective ads, of course, everything's going to video nowadays. Everything is just video, 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 video. If you're not, if you don't have your own YouTube channel, which by the way, costs you zero, it doesn't cost you anything to have a YouTube channel. It just takes your time to make a little video. I don't care if it's, if you're a restaurant, do a little preview of a dish that's coming up, your band that's playing on a Saturday night, a special event that's going on, a little beer tasting you're doing, something that's going, a little farm trip you're on, do a little quick video, put it on your website, put it on your Facebook, stuff like that goes a long way and that's zero. Now here's the awesome side to YouTube. If you're getting views, you can monetize that and they will actually pay you to put your content on. So it's like reverse advertising. You're getting your message out there and you're actually getting a check every month deposited into your into your bank account. Now, I get a nice paycheck every month and I take that and I usually put it into capital improvements in my restaurant. I bought a 
beautiful 14 foot smoke, smoker this uh, this spring with my YouTube money, the camera that I'm shooting on that cost me a couple thousand dollars. I put that, that came from my YouTube money. Um, so I put my YouTube money, I try to put my YouTube money back into my restaurant. I just bought an awesome projector uh, where I can do presentations and I can show movies and things like that. And that came from my YouTube check. So advertising is totally different than it was five years ago, 10 years ago. It doesn't exist like it was 15 years ago. Get that mindset out that, that, that you cannot afford to do advertising. Everything you post, everything you do is an advertisement. The phone is the new TV, it's the new magazine, it's the new everything. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Head over to 50mistakes.com. Check out more of my business tips, my free business tips. There's a bunch of stuff there. Sign up for my email. Will you get all kinds of tips in your, e in, in your inbox every week? Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe, and uh, share.